New Zealand, Cardiff was the venue for this match, a venue that would prove a none too happy one for the Australians. With New Zealand considered the poor cousins of Australasian cricket, the Kiwis had plenty to prove. It's well bowled, it's got him! The demise of Mark War and Adam Gilchrist putting Australia Chance on the back foot. Well, it took a 94 run stand from Ricky Ponting and Darren Lehman to steady proceedings, a partnership interrupted by Rain and ended by Astell. So Astell has got the breakthrough. The Aussie middle order didn't capitalise, leaving New Zealand needing 214 for victory. The run chase started badly, Adam Dale making the first breakthrough as their opponent slumped to 4 for 49. And Midon's going to take the catch, well taken. But a century partnership from well, Roger Tews and Chris Cairns turned near defeat into victory. Cairns' contribution including three sixes. Could go all the way. Tews seeing New Zealand through to a remarkable win. The only consolation for Shane Warne, the birth of his son Jackson yesterday. So I'm sure all the boys will get together tonight and we might just have a little quiet drink and uh, have a bit of a toast to Jackson. Eight for 213, not the sort of score the Australians would have liked. Darren Lehman made amends for his poor showing in Worcester with a much needed 76. Ricky Ponting was again rock solid with 47. Roger Twos with an unbeaten 80 and 60 from Chris Cairns thwarted Australia's hopes there and the Aussies looked like they had it in the bag when New Zealand was reeling at four for 49. Damien Fleming was the best of our bowlers with two. A win and a loss. That's how it looked for Australia after two World Cup matches. Next up, a trip to Leeds for a showdown with Pakistan. Little did these two teams know what lay ahead of them in this World Cup. Australia's bowling lacked its usual spark. Saeed Anwar fired them up. They soon had some revenge, 3 for 46. Ouch! Gone! Inzimamul Haq and Abdul Razik formed a crucial...